This is Dabu7 with more proof here in regards to actor Randy Quaid and his wife Evie and their situation where they are currently stuck in Canada. Now I put out another video before on this but I brought it down because I made a couple mistakes and I want to make sure that the facts are straight here. I had mentioned how they had overcharged their credit card $7,200. That was wrong. It is $72,000 three times that comes out to a total of like two hundred thirty thousand dollars and I wanted to make sure that that was correct here and as she goes over and shows all the proof for anyone that has any doubts she explains it to a T here and also once again the link to we the people here they need to get these signatures they have till May 10th they need to get these signatures just to get their passports back. These are people fighting to get their passports so they can come back and try to explain their situation. And it looks like right now it's an uphill battle because they're fighting some of the biggest names and biggest guys out there. And one of the people involved in this is the guy that put out American Sniper. Big name individuals involved with this in Hollywood. And I'm going to let her do the rest of the talking. I'll leave links in the description box. This has been Dabu7. So, so here is the police media corruption. So prior to our arrest in Marfa, TMZ and Emily Smith from the New York Post called, this is them calling the Marfa Sheriff's Department. I actually got these messages from the Marfa Sheriff's Department. These are their actual messages taken by their secretary. That's for James Davis, the secretary. The time is 11.45 in the morning. 11.45 in the morning, that's Texas time. Okay, now we weren't arrested till five o'clock that same day. Okay, these are the messages. On the 24th, we were arrested at five o'clock that same day and TMZ was on the street. From what the detect uh, the Marfa Sheriff James Davis says, these calls are what told him there was a warrant. Okay, that is a coordinated arrest, a warrant for a hotel bill of ten thousand dollars that the hotel charged me seventy three thousand dollars three times to cover for my valid credit card okay that's what we were put through that's the first issue second issue is the house which Bruce Berman from Warner Brothers stole from us this is us photographed on the property in 1993 for HG magazine there's HG see the date May 1993. We photographed for HG magazine in 1993. This is the grant deed that is forged to Bruce Berman in January 15th, 1992. You can see that it's to Bruce Berman, Warner Brothers executive, Bruce Berman, producer of American Sniper, Bruce Berman, forged a grant deed to himself on Veterans Day with a San Diego notary in 1992. Yet we're photographed on the property by HG Magazine in May of 1993. Okay, one last issue, the bail bond for a million dollars, a million dollars for supposedly trespassing on our own property. Uh, the Department of Insurance has confirmed that we are being extorted from. We made a complaint to them and they in fact confirmed the complaint is justified, that we are being extorted from. The only warrant we have out for our arrest is for failing to appear, here's page two, on a bail bond that is 
confirmed to be extortion by the Department of Insurance. So again, the police media corruption is Rupert Murdoch claiming to the Marfa Sheriff's Department that we should be arrested at 11 in the morning. We're arrested at 5 that night because of a hotel bill because of a hotel bill where we were overcharged $250,000. Okay? So you have all the facts. Let me know if you want them uh, faxed to you or emailed to you directly. I'm happy to send them to you. 